Good afternoon, and welcome to the Praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, God of peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times and over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness have we experienced? How much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? How many hopes have been buried, but our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say, never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. Lord, God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and you call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother and a sister. Make us sensitive to the plea of our citizens who entreat us to turn our weapons of war into implements of peace, our trepidation into confident trust, and our quarreling into forgiveness. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last, and may the words division, hatred, and war be banished from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds, so that the world which always brings us together, so that the word which always brings us together will be brother, and our way of life will always be that of peace. Amen. That's the prayer from Pope Francis for peace. And it can be found on the USCCB website. 
You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body Of your 
see all nothing in all the world Eternal Father, I offer you The body and the blood Soul and divinity Passion, have mercy on us in all the whole world for the sake of Savo Passion. Have mercy on us in all the whole world for the sake of Savo Passion. Sake of a sorrowful passion, 
your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 